have a circle. We have a person who's in a role. It's time on the agenda for that person's schedule role improvement feedback. So the person, which I'll call a person who's in the role, person in role, chooses some people from their circle to be on their feedback team. These people are on their feedback team. Who chooses them? Why this person did. Here's this person. Now they're on the team. And here's this person. Now they're on the team. Let's say that this person interacts with the, quote, next higher circle. In businesses, this is what you would do. So the person in the role, let, let me make that person red. This person chooses somebody from the next, quote, higher circle that they work with. So um, I'm going to make a quote higher that is more abstract longer term circle that has some people in it. And so this person in the role who is red chooses one of these people to be on the feedback team. That's what you do in businesses. Do you need to do it in an intentional community or a member-led group? Yes or no, depending on if you want to. And let's say that this is the promotion circle and uh, this person uh, uh, works closely with the people in website, which is the next, quote, lower circle than theirs. So they choose that website person. Uh, here's the web circle. Here's a couple of people in the web circle. Here's this one. This person chooses this one. So they have a person from the, quote, lower circle. They have a person from the, quote, higher circle. And they have some people from their own circle. Who chooses these people who are going to give them feedback? The person, the person who's going to get the feedback. Why is this? Hopefully, they will be able to receive the feedback. Uh, well, the feedback. well, hopefully they will, and feedback will be gently, courteously given with goodwill, because that's how this works. And uh, they didn't pick Attila the Hun or Genghis Khan, who gives harsh feedback. So now we have the feedback team, and that is the first thing. The person chooses the members of the feedback team. Do you have this in your handout booklet? Absolutely. Okay, uh, the feedback team reviews the role. What things do they review? You already know, don't you? They review the tasks, the requirements for fulfilling the tasks, desired characteristics, which are, of course, optional. And we already know the term length because this is part way through the term. So now we all know what those are. That's the second step. We review them. How do we review them? They're written up in big letters on some kind of flip chart on the wall. Or if you insist, in a Google Doc, shining on the wall. Okay. Um, the first step is that the person who is facilitating, and we choose one of these people to be the facilitator, and we choose a person to be the uh, person taking minutes who's going to write this down. The facilitator says, the facilitator is leading us through the steps. The facilitator says, okay, first step, we review the role. I mean, second step, because the first is to choose the team. We review the role. Third step is the person describes what they think they did well. Well, in this role that I've been doing here for this many months so far, I think what I've been doing well is blah, 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 blah. The minute taker writes it down. The facilitator says, thank you. Then the facilitator says, OK, thanks so much. But we'll call this person Jack, OK? We just heard from the person Jack uh, what uh, he thinks he did well in the role so far in this many months of being in the role. And uh, the minute taker writes it down, Jack, done well. The facilitator says, thanks, Jack. Uh, thanks, no, this is Jack. Shoot, that's not Jack. Thanks, Jack. OK, let's hear from you. What do you think Jack did well? Same things. 
And I would add that. And you, uh, all the same things, nothing to add. And you, uh, all the same things plus that. Okay, thank you. And you, nothing to add. Okay, thanks very much. Jack, what do you think that needs improvement? Oh, wait, 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 hold on. Five. No, wait. Okay, sorry, sorry about that. Jack now summarizes what he thinks he has done well based on what he said and what they said. It's a summary. It's shorter. Well, it's easy for him to draw on because the minute taker is writing it down, plus he's writing it down on a notebook on his lap or a notebook on his lap. And so it's easy for him to create a summary. If it takes him a minute or two to compose, that's okay. We've allowed it enough time for that. Okay, now we have the summary. Okay, says the facilitator, Jack, what do you think might need improvement? Jack says, I think maybe this here needs improvement, and um, that there. Facilitator says, thanks. Okay, we'll go around, we'll start with you, and we'll hear what you think needs improvement. I agree with that. I agree with that. Nothing to add. Uh, I suggest this and this. Okay, thank you. Jack, would you summarize? Thank you. My lovely assistant is helping me with numbers. Okay, uh, yeah, Jack, Jack summarizes it. Remember, before he summarized what went well. Now he summarized what may need improvement. Does it have to be 50% each? Do we have to come up with at least as many comments and statements about what we think needs improvement as what we think uh, Jack did well? No. Do sometimes people think that? Yes. Because in communities, they think they have to be fair, and they're trying so hard to follow the rules. And they're stretching it like, well, you always wear pink. Stuff like that. You, you see people do that, right? So it's really only necessary to look at what Jack might use, need as improvement, really and truly, and only in terms of the role. He this looks is, bad in pink. What? He looks bad in pink. See, that wouldn't be a needs improvement. No matter that he looks ghastly in pink, it's okay. His wardrobe choices and color blindness, etc., isn't really part of the, of the term length, the tasks, the responsibilities, and so on. When we are saying what we think is uh, going well, do we talk about what a cool guy Jack is? Do we talk about how much we like him? Do we talk about how handsome he is or his fabulous choice of wardrobe? No. Why not? We tell him that privately if we want to, somewhere outside the meeting. But here, we're getting the job done. We're doing role improvement feedback. It has to do with his role, his role, only the role, nothing but the role. Okay? All right? Okay. Now he's got two summaries. Then we ask Jack to propose a plan for improvement. Perhaps we take a break, go have some of Rains' chocolate, while Jack writes down a plan for improvement. And he can ask us to help him, any of us if he wants us to help him with things, like, would you remind me when I do X? Would you remind me before I have to do Y that I need to remember something? Does, is it up to Jack solely and completely and only him for the improvement? No, we're going to help him if he asks us to. OK. So after he proposes the plan, OK, so we come back from our break. Facilitator says, Jack, do you have a plan for improvement? Yes, I do. And it's like this that I do this and this and this. I keep doing these things and I do this and this and this and you can help me with that one and you can help me with that one and would you be willing to? Sure, sure, absolutely. Okay. Now we have a proposed plan for improvement. Now the facilitator conducts a consent round. Please say if you think this is complete. Did Jack get everything? Everything that we got on this list and this list and does it make sense and does it seem reasonable? Please say... Um, complete or incomplete, or maybe please say objection or no objection. I suppose you can do which, whichever you want. Uh, no objection, no objection, no objection, no objection, no objection. Okay, great. We have a plan for improvement. The feedback team has just consented to the plan. But remember now, Jack is in this circle. Well, at least two people in this circle. This one in, oh, here, this is his circle. At least two people in this circle have already consented. Right, Mr. Green and Miss Orange. But now the plan comes over to this circle in the next policy meeting, and one of their agenda items is to consent to the plan. For Jack, in his role in this circle, 
they do, or someone objects and they add something. Over here, when they are consenting, his feedback team is consenting to his plan for improvement. Uh, somebody might object. Oh, thank you. Uh, tell us what is the reason for your objection after. In this plan for improvement, I think it would help even more if we added this, and I'm willing to help with that. Okay, great. Now, to the modified uh, plan for improvement, we're having another consent round. No objection, no objection, no objection, no objection. Now we have a plan. We take that over here. Uh, no objection, no objection, no objection. Objection. Oh, thank you. Why? Well, I can actually help in this way. Okay, great. Okay. Modified proposal, new consent round, object, no objection, blah, 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 blah. Okay, we've consented to it. Look, look how fast that was. Look how swift that was. We are going to help Frodo get better at his job of carrying the ring to the volcano. We have to assume that we are now partway through our journey from the Shire. Yay, food! Fifth dessert, and fourth and third and second. And we're going to that, don't name it, in the land of, don't say it, where the eye of, don't say it, is there. Okay. So we're going to do it. But guess what? In businesses and nonprofits, the person reviews the plan with the, cir the circle's operations leader, who might be this person, and the plan goes to the next higher circle for their consent, too. Let's leave that alone for now. That's businesses and nonprofits that operate as if they were a business, meaning they're business-like. You know, they have a job to save the redwoods and then there's a boss and so on and so on. And they're using sociocracies. So they have operations leaders and all that. Let them do that. We're focusing on member-led groups, okay? 